You want me to be a big star, get a big head? Watch. Oh, yes. What, what kind of threat is that? <laughs> You're threatening that? I, I said like three-headed it. monster. Miami, Chicago, New York. Fine. I'm moving into the office. Move your shit out. <laughs> <laughs> Barstool Pick'em. We are back, and we are brought to you by our friends at Game Time, the exclusive ticketing partner of Barstool Sports, created by fans for fans. Game Time is a ticketing app that makes it easier than ever to score last-minute deals on tickets to sports, concerts, and shows, and they guarantee the lowest price. Uh, football games. We're going to Nebraska, Michigan this weekend. We'll be using Game Time. It's all possible with the Game Time app. The biggest last minute price drops can be found on the seats you thought you could never buy. They'll even credit you 110% of the seat price if you can find a better deal elsewhere. You can get limited time discounts with exclusive flash deals. The purchase process takes just two taps, 10 seconds, and once you buy your tickets, they're delivered directly to your phone. No prints are needed. The app also allows you to easily share tickets with friends via text. So you can get into the game seamlessly, skip the hassle, enjoy the moment. Download the Game Time app or go to the website, enter your email, redeem code PICKEM for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Download the Game Time app or go to the website, enter your email, and redeem code PICKEM for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Thank you to Game Time, uh, the exclusive ticketing partner of Barstool Sports. They are awesome. I use it for everything. Concerts. Sports, everything, game time app. Okay, we're back. Pick them week five. We are here. Uh, good, good slate last weekend. Uh, not not the best games, but, but a lot of like mix up. We'll talk overall how we're thinking about the college football landscape. I placed a future that we can get into. Uh, we have a good slate this week. First, I want to do a little catch up. Dave. Uh, I haven't talked to you. I've, I've texted with you, but I haven't talked to you since the Pizza Fest. Looked incredible. Uh, looked like a huge, awesome moment for you. I wanted to personally apologize. I wasn't able to make it. Uh, if I had still lived in Brooklyn or Staten Island, I would have made it. No problem. Um, so I, I just wanted to apologize for that. Same. Uh, you know, like if I lived like really close, I would have been there. You know, I would have been there. Yeah, um, so and a lot, of, I, a ton of people, ton of people were there uh, yeah. supporting it. So I appreciate everyone who come. Yeah, uh, like Dante sent me a text after. And he's like, "You should really like make a list of the people who didn't show up, mm -hmm. like to support it because that's surreal." I didn't notice. I'm not even being facetious. Till we sat down, I didn't even think about Rico not being there. Yeah, but wait, I wasn't. Well, I was just saying, if okay. I lived in Brooklyn and, or Staten and, Island. And, I, yeah. and I, I'm not even joking. Like, why didn't you go, Rico? I blogged. Mm. It's college football Saturday. Mm. I blogged. Could have stopped by. Okay. You're right. It won't happen again. Like I, 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 For years of not working and doing stuff on your own and enjoying your own uh, moments... Granted, so it's your me, it's a company all right, thing. All right. Uh, so give me give me the real reason because I know that's not it. <laughs> Dave, like I, the, I like we're you're doing I, pretty like, good. I, don't okay. lie to me. Uh, when you start lying, we go down. I'm not, I'm not even. I'm, not I'm just lying. I, a call, you, so your choice was like, do I want to go show face support Dave's Pizza Fest or I got a blog? And your thought was he's going to say I didn't blog if I'm at the Pizza Fest. No, it was a. You've said. A bunch of times. Just like, tell the truth. I, yes, I know you're lying. I'm not lying, dude. I have. We've been doing pretty good here. It's a college football Saturday. You walked around the office and went robot, robot. Like, hey, we got to have guys rotating in on the weekends. Mm. That's it's working. I a major okay. festival you didn't go to that no, I threw I, right down I the road from you? I thought blogging would be a better move for what was going on. I don't believe you. Mm. Okay. Okay. I don't know how we got here. I was just apologizing for me not being there. And, I and do I'm not apologize. like, I, I honestly didn't think about it. I, I do not for a second believe that was okay. the, the, the reason. All right. It was a big deal. It looked yes, awesome. I understand. I can't believe like this is. What? It's all right. You get bored of, of normal and it's, well, it's I fine. Just it's fine. It's fine. Wait, I'm not talking it's about fine. you. I apologize for myself. It's I just, feel bad. It's, I it's all good. Just I go saw, back to the well. Like, I, I love how it. it's like you, you can't saw, change. I You'll saw, never change. You're no, a piece of shit. No. You're a scumbag. Like, and then you act normal and then you, you throw just I bombs saw, and expect me not I, to like go like this. Like, okay. I saw, I saw all those old, people there man. and I had FOMO. I got FOMO not being there. Yeah, I mean, so let me I. tell you this. I, I know this guy, Paul Golzinski, sales guy, did not want to be there. He showed up, I think, for a grand. I, my guess what he did, he walked in, beelined it to find me, said hello, and then beelined it the hell out of there. Like, I guarantee you, he just went just to make sure, like, 
I made eye contact with him there. I didn't really think about it till Dan brought it up. I didn't bring it I, up. I apologize I, for myself. Tommy, Nate, Balls, uh, Caroline, Joey, Kamasa, uh, Gabe, Pat. I mean, they were obviously pup punk played, so they were all there. Uh, yeah, I guess everybody in New York seemingly was there. Okay. I blogged, so that's the decision I made. It's clearly a mistake. I apologize. I didn't say I was just, I don't it's believe fine. that that's okay. the reason. Okay. You mad. don't believe it, but like, I, I didn't. Okay. Did you think the about, did you think about, it. did you think about going? Yeah. I, th I thought about it and I thought, and I looked at that as that's, yeah, you're supporting the company, but you're also like out having fun. Let me get behind the computer. <laughs> you're it just you're like, it's such an obvious lie. That's okay. the problem, but whatever. You're supporting the company. I'm, I'm gonna I'm like, a you're at my pizza fest. Yeah, I'm guess, like, oh, fine. there's Rico. Never, He's having too much out, fun at my pizza fest. I'll never outlive <laughs> my sins. I have what? to pay for the crimes I committed. So, all right, that's where we're you're, at. You're, you're killing it right now. What are you talking about, Rico? To, the the stock I bought in Rico Bosco in December 2022 is paying crazy right Listen, now. I, Can I, I just ask what I, indication you would give that that I would lie? Like, why? That's a like. Oh, your history. Okay. All right. I mean, you do lie. Fair enough. But I still have work to do then to build my character. You're right. It won't happen again. I just, it, but it's a, it, it. Holy shit. You mad at me? There's no one in the world who truly believes you're like, I'm going to be frowned upon for going to Dave's Pizza Fest and having fun. Like, that's preposterous. It's my event. Okay. It looked awesome, though, Dave. It, it went. You. It went great. It feels like, you know. I, I said this on the rundown, but the fact it was that a tornado that could have swayed some people. Like I don't want to go stay in the rain. The bridge got wind. What bridge you have to get to get over? If I was still living in New York, the Verrazano. How far do you live from where we did it, Rico? Thirty minutes, max. Oof. Okay, got it. Eesh. Max. Let's talk positive things. Are there any? Oh, come on. You're you, you set them up, Dan. I you, did. Like, I, I did. Oh, I did. Oh, the minute when I was crazy. one, because I legitimately had FOMO, like seeing everyone have fun. I was like, fuck, I wish I was here at this thing. And uh, and then I started seeing like everyone tweet about their pizza scores and everything. I was like, huh, is Bosco there? <laughs> come on, Rico. Five, including a blog about the pizza fest. So oh. isn't that continued promo? The That's guy huge. from Luigi's. Like, That's isn't huge. that? What do you mean continued promo? Or, like, after it? Count as, as promo, was... I should say. Five on Saturday. But what good does that promo do? Do you think someone read that blog in real time, jumped in the car, and was like, <laughs> I got to get there? I sure hope so. <laughs> if the one person did that, he did his job. It's all right. I'm a victim of my sins. Won't happen again. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Where's the next one, Dave? I don't know. We're figuring out now. Uh, I don't know. Rico's backyard, he'll be like Francesa, he'll pull up the blinds like the the <laughs> WBC. <laughs> Come on, Rico. I'm more surprised. I don't take it even as like a personal offense. I thought you, like for your whole pizza and this and that, I thought you'd be like interested. A thousand percent I was interested. I was also interested in hitting the top 20, which you said to do from January. Every week. That's Work. big. Lock yourself in. Watch the games. You can't even like you're a smirk. Like which, which way are you? I don't. I don't believe you. Okay, <laughs> I'll never live down my sins. I, I think you have done a good job of rehabilitating. Healthy debate is an awesome show. I'm saying that like since as sincerely as possible. It's it's been I've been watching. It's been great. How have you? How, what what where are we at with it? It's like I just we Rico. There's nobody in the company, not just you. Who could be like, I decided the greater way for me to support the company was by not going to the event. It's not just you. He's not just singling out you. All right. I don't get that one. Um, I don't think I, I mean, the fest is that you think I would have made a difference. People would be like, it was a great event. I met Dave. I got Pete. Like, I'm like 47th no, on the but, list. No, but, but, but like supporting. Oh, don't sell yourself event. short. Yeah, don't no, do I'm not trying don't to like, that. that's not what was. It's just truth. There's bands. There's pizza. There's like world-class stuff. The merch, meeting you. Like, you're mixing up. Like, 
Who, who's life? Not who's class. life am I changing on that? Riders that you don't think there was riders not, there? Not, the riders there's definitely, definitely was riders love to see there. Right. Yeah. Yeah. How is uh, how's the rider? How are the riders doing? I saw that one call in healthy debate. Someone was getting upset. Yeah, they're getting riled up. Yeah, they're, it feels like they're chomping at the bit right now. They are. We need a, We need an enemy. Bad, real bad. Yeah, we need an enemy. <laughs> I come on, Rico. It's just tough. That's like, and it's just crazy. And then to get called it's a liar, tough. like that does fuck with you. But again, I'm not gonna. It's not gonna ruin the show. But it's just. You guys, you know, whatever. It's all right. Fine, I take it back. I, I, I take it back too. I'm not. I don't think you're a liar. <laughs> How's that? I got it. We good? Yep. All right. So you want to? But you you have lied. Yeah, I was on drugs. I'm re <laughs> re trying to rehabilitate. <laughs> <laughs> You you said something funny before we started. Uh, the riders they love to play cops and robbers, so we need to get them something something real because they've been going after smacky tables. They're 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 ready to go. Let's yeah, find them time. someone. I by the way I am a rider again because Rico hit Louisville, one Louisville. Million. easy. That was awesome. I gave a, I actually gave out bc because of rico on my speech at the end of it uh to at pizza fest i'm like last thing after i'm like fuck washington post fuck this fuck that last thing take bc plus the points didn't work i a couple old security guards were not happy about it <laughs> i mean you, you rico. Could be you, rico yeah that was a big win i needed that i i've been riding since day one this year and i said once you get a mortal lock i'm all the way in uh, all right, so the, the recap uh, of the weekend, it was a good football weekend. The Notre Dame game obviously was crazy. Uh, crazy. The the Ryan Day going after Lou Holtz, which, Dave, you and I were texting. Like, he really was just completely. Checking at Michigan. And, by the way, the fact that they gained, they, they scored by half an inch when they ran it where Notre Dame just didn't have a guy because they're lined up wrong is insane. Inexcusable. Yeah. Insane and and uh, yeah. crazy story. Uh, Sam Hartman's agent. I, if I was Sam Hartman, I would fire his agent. The agent. So we, I I obviously made the ten thousand dollar bet. Now dead. Um, mm. for a Sam Heisman to win the future to win the Heisman, and we have the shirts. And they reached out before the game and like, hey, like you. I don't know what they were saying, but we said you want partner on it. We'll give you a rev, whatever. We're not doing it to make money. They got back after the game, and they were like, no, no partnerships. He wants a flat fee. It's like, buddy, we ain't selling <laughs> the fucking Sammy Heisman shirts no more. He need, you ain't getting a flat fee. He needed to win that game. and it Yeah, wasn't you should have asked for a flat fee beforehand. Yeah, that was, that was nuts. I also like Ryan Day just being like uh, we had one bad half in the last two years. Like, did – it wasn't both the second halves against Michigan bad? Mi Michigan destroyed them. I honestly, I wrote a blog about it. Um, I think he's trying to make Notre Dame their rival. He's given up on beating Michigan. <laughs> and he's like, I can beat up on Notre Dame. Let's change the narrative to, hey, Lou Holtz in Notre Dame. And then, you know, I keep my job. Because if you keep, if Michigan's your rival and you're getting your face punched in, it's a different story. Yeah, one half. I don't know what that means. One half. And then obviously Dion, that was tough. Uh Rico and I both had Oregon in different different ways. Under. Yeah, I had I had Oregon first half. I had them team total over and they they went for they it. They just on, stopped fucking. Yeah, they had forty two points. They went for it. Uh Dave, you were you were at Pizza Fest. I was I was taking bullets for for I think you as well with the Dion stuff. People people were coming out of the woodwork. Uh, yeah, I, I thought they could win the game, Colorado. I mean, I was it the most shocking outcome of all time? No. Um, you don't know how much Travis Hunter, I mean, he's not going to make a 42-point no. difference. Uh, listen, when you talk as much as Dion does and, and you create the bravado, yeah, everyone's going to take the shots. I'll say this. The, the videos that people – so the video from Oregon that I saw – after the game, I saw it floating around and all the comments like, oh, my God, I can't believe they talked this much shit. And I watched the video. I didn't think it was – I'm sure that happens like every fucking game. Yeah. Like it wasn't crazy to me the amount of shit that that 
Colorado is talking at all. So I don't know. Dion knows it better than anybody. You make yourself a target. And I think Dion has known he doesn't have the dudes yet all the way around. He's going to get them. And I had no problem with anything that Oregon did. Yeah. It, it, good, clean, fun. He, the uh, Dion did the uh, the Dan Hurley speech afterwards, which yes. I like. He's like, you better get us now because this is the worst yeah. we're going to be. What do you think about the Colorado leaking or re- just openly releasing that footage, though? What footage? Uh, Oregon, you mean? Yeah, the pregame. No, that was Colorado. From my understanding, I could be wrong. Wasn't that Colorado's documentary? No, that was Oregon's. Okay. It was when it first came out. We were trying to decipher on picks. We thought because they no, do, he was, does a vlog every week. It was Oregon kid. All right, yeah. You what you you thought Oregon? You thought you thought Colorado, thought Colorado put out the right, clip I of Colorado Oregon really, saying this isn't Hollywood? And no, the, and the, no, the no. clip of Oregon being like we're no, gonna no, beat no, your no. ass. And we're gonna beat your yes. coach's ass. And then the clip of all the touchdowns no. that Oregon was scoring. And, it, and I thought Colorado had released the footage when he said, yeah, we're going to beat your ass, and there's about to be a murder of the Ducks. Why would Oregon's people film that? Because well, they're yep. walking around with the camera. The Colorado kid is, like, mugging for an Oregon camera? Yeah, I mean, I think that would be the one criticism is, like, the— Debo, doesn't Sanders do a vlog every week? Like, I could what do be you think? They put it out in real time. Every week too. There, what? There, there was a video that came out before the Oregon five-minute vlog. Is that the one you're thinking of, where they're, like, stomping on the logo? No. The one okay. where, they, yeah, where, the, where Sanders says, I'm going to beat all your asses, and the other kid says, there's about to be a murder of the Ducks. Yeah, that, the line that, was, that was in the Oregon, Oregon video. All right. Yeah. Okay. You know what? What? Moving along, I don't. I I I don't like how you're getting right now. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna hold back on the other thing I had because I don't want to. No, wanna you can pile on. The San, I well, the way it was told to me was that Sanders does a vlog every week and Colorado every released team that like does shit like this. All of them. Oregon does it every week, but I don't know how you could think the Oregon the, the that video was a Colorado video because that's how it was told. Like I didn't investigate the story enough to. I thought Colorado oh, yeah. released it. Either way, I mean, that's why I, Dion's going to do what Dion's going to do, but that's why people are going to come for his neck when they do stuff like that. Yeah, and I, I liked what Dan Lanning said. I didn't think it was that bad. No, I didn't think it was that bad either. I like what Dan Lanning said after. He's like, yeah, the reason why this was – Casey actually gets credit. She predicted it. She was like, there's going to be more people watching this game than Notre Dame-Ohio State. I think I said that was a possibility. Yeah, I, I thought it wasn't a possibility, but Dan Lanning said afterwards he was like – yeah, the reason why that we're getting talked about is because of Colorado. So thanks to Colorado, like this is what this is the rising tide lifts all boats. Like Dion is making 100%. college football talked about. Yeah, they got killed, and I I'll I'll stand by what I said. I said zero percent chance they'll go to the college football playoff. I said they'll probably lose to Oregon and USC, which I think they're going to lose this weekend as well. Um, but it's a successful season. They could still make a bowl. Oh yeah, definitely could still make a bowl. Definitely, one hundred percent successful. Yeah. Everyone's talking about Colorado, good, bad, and different. And to be honest, like the the people he's getting, and, and there's a, it almost I could see a world. Listen, Dion was never going to win the national championship college football playoff this year. He knew that. But if you're like, I've always thought if I'm a college, if I'm a high school recruit, it's more fun to go to the place and be on the team that that turns the page so to speak than being the next in the line at Alabama or next in line somewhere like you are a high school kid you go see Colorado get their ass kicked like that you can join this next group and be the ones that return the favor Changes. to me I'd always want that I think it's more exciting to to start a dynasty or start a national championship run than just be the next page right right um I alluded to it at the beginning. I did make a future bet. I bet Washington 20 to 1. I know that there's, you know, they don't have the blue chip guys that that is uh, the profile of a national title uh, contender. I'm just hoping they get in there because that would be a great price. And I also... Oregon 20 to 1? No, Washington 20 to 1. I said Washington. He's fucked up right now. He's just hurt. Uh, He's in yeah, a fight. No, he he both needs... sent me the video. I was trying to see who released it. He, he Yeah. What? Literally, Ebo sent me the fucking video. This is Deon, that's it? Deion Sanders' media company. What? That one's, that one's different than the, All right, got it. So then that's that where the disconnect different. was. 
They released it. I thought it eventually came from that. I am wrong again. So no, I I should have even I got up pizza I'm, fast. Said I was wrong. Well, time out. Let's time out. Let's, time let's, out. Let's take a twenty here again. The second twenty in the history show. Just Next take play. a deep breath. Next play, I Rico. Been. I've not. I'm not rattled. <laughs> you are rattled. <laughs> Here's the problem with Washington. The same way I think Oregon's a good price. At Wait, well, you're blowing right through the timeout. Yeah, we're in yeah, timeout. Yeah, let's take a timeout. No, no. Let's. I'm calling the timeout. I'm calling timeout. Timeout. I could play 40 minutes nonstop. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I think the Pac-12 is the most compelling conference race out there right Correct. now. A lot of people still in play. Utah, Oregon State, Wazoo is electric. UCLA, good. Um, Utah, good. Washington, good. Oregon, good. A lot of guys in the mix. Washington USC. State. I said Wazoo. Wazoo. U USC. I don't know if any of them can get through unscathed is the problem. And I don't think the Pac-12 is going to get the credit it should. I think like they will. The no, I think, I think they'll get the this year will get it. Yeah, they'll get it. They'll okay. get it. I think a one-loss Pac-12 team could absolutely go. So here's why. Well, I, I think you could be a really good Pac-12 team in this conference and have, still have two close losses, but that buries you for the well, playoff. You know what I mean? That's he, where it sucks. Here's why I took Washington. I looked at their schedule. They do have a tough schedule. They, though, the, the, the two hardest or the three hardest games they have, Oregon, Utah, and USC. Two out of three of those are at Washington. They play Oregon and Utah at home. USC is on the road, but USC plays in a different division. So my reasoning is if they can find a way to win their home games – and they even lose to USC, they would get another crack at USC in Vegas, and I think a one-loss Pac-12 champion would go to the playoff. Quick challenge. I think the Pac-12 removed divisions. Did they? They did. So it's just the two top teams? Um, I still nearly positive. They still Pac-12, don't, look, it, straight through. So it's still, if they He's win back. their— He's, He's back. back. He's back. He's, He's back. back. That's huge. I was wrong. Hand up. I he was, was wrong. He's studying on Saturday. He's looking at divisions. He's blogging. He's not going to the pizza fest, but he's bringing it here. That's good. It's That's the, good what you just did. It's the number one show in the history of the company. <laughs> <Yeah>. Gambling-wise. <laughs> Gambling-wise. He's back. No, that now he's really back. You, good point, Rico. But it still stands that if they beat their, if they beat Utah and Oregon at home, they should Fair, be yes, a top two Yes, you get the rematch. Yeah. yeah, right. So yeah. My, my hope is they can win those home games. Their offense is electric. Their defense is underrated. Uh, they, I was watching their game on Saturday night. They were up 14 nothing before even snapping an offensive play. I know Cal is terrible, uh, but I, I, I really but like Cal's not watching. that bad, I don't think. It was a, yeah, they, they, were, they, they just jumped right on. They're a good coach, on. but they beat, yeah, they beat the shit out of them. That's what we want, though, pound the bad teams, because we saw USC let Arizona State kind of stick around. So That's a 14-point game. So what, what are your futures, Rico? You still have just the Wazoo. Badgers? I'm sorry, well, uh, the Badgers? Wa wa Washington. Uh, Wisconsin, Wisconsin, yes. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking about Wazoo. That's a fun one, but I that would be a fun there. one. That would be a fun. one. I don't one. know if it gets there. Um, you're back, Rico. I am. I'm not even gonna do the other thing. Go, give it to me. No, no, that's part of the stress test. No. What Come do you on. got? I don't. Go ahead. Jack can do it. <laughs> Go ahead. You want me to do it? All right, I'll do it. Uh, Dave. Uh -oh. when, when people ask you uh, to go on like podcast or something like little or podcast like I, I i say no a lot because i just don't have the time but i'll try to help out do you ever do you ever ask for money yes to, to go on podcasts it was Never. a sunday Never. during the nfl <laughs> the next day i go hey how long how much time was what was meant to be said it's also ufc i'm thinking i'm charging for ufc i said how much i look back i go oh shit how long long day buddy you said I, that for spinning backfist? No, no something else. <laughs> Some outside thing. I go, I will, how much? I, meaning I'll how much it. time? Rico. <laughs> fucking we, charging. Rico, we'd Come like on. to feature you in an upcoming episode of our podcast. <laughs> we'd like to talk a little bit of how you got started with podcasting, your tips, and then we'll have a little fun and do your weekly top five. Let me know if you can make some time to Zoom with us. Make Rico some time. Back. How much how time? Much? <laughs> how much time? Did they That's give you a not, price? I, no, that well, it said it said how much, and then I go, hey, long day, how long? And they're like, oh, this, whatever. The DMs are still there. So, but what oh, so if we'll, they had we'll come back and out. said a thousand bucks? How did you catch wind of this? Me? Yeah, I don't know. I know you're fucking <laughs> the worst. Dude. How? 
Uh, they must ask Jerry, well, too. Re- they re- must re- ask Rico. Jerry. They must ask Jerry. Certain armies. But might- somebody, somebody had to say Rico tried to charge us. So How much what show? Time? What show is this, Big Hat? I don't even know. So are you saying that they went, once you said no because you had a rate, they went to Jerry? No, I think it's one of those. They they've there's podcasts they really they try to get everybody. So they must have yeah they've DM'd a bunch of guys at the same time. But how how did it come to Dan's attention, Jerry, that you were trying Jerry, and how did Jerry know? They probably told him. And I went, but I thought you cleared it up instantly. Yeah, because I sent it. Never thought about it. Looked back. And I go, oh shit, how much? I go, hey, how much time? That okay, was a I Sunday you. NFL. I it's right you. here. It is just Same very, thing. it's a very funny screenshot. How, how, how long much? was the delay? Uh, honestly, a full day because I never thought about it. <laughs> Where are they? So you respond before they did? No. no, you respond how much and then a full day went by. They didn't come back to the number. 255, yeah, right and in the middle said, of Sunday long? in the NFL. <laughs> and it's last night. Yeah, how long? And then they're back. So okay, we'll do it. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm going to believe you That's on how this. it is. How he much, did. how I long? Confirm. I'm actually happy that, you, Very that I brought this up because I, it's also UFC. I don't know. If like, you if you had said how how much and you were looking for money to do uh, someone else's podcast, I would have been like, come on, Rico. No, I think the only person I've ever heard doing that is uh, Billy Tibbetts on Spin Chicklets. No, also uh, Pete, oh, Rose. Pete, Rose. Pete, Rose. Pete Rose. Pete Rose. Pete Rose. On, Rico Bosco on um, Pick 'em. Parcel Pick 'em March Madness. Yeah, yeah. Well, that was my fee. Well, yeah, you got to you pay, suggested you pay employees doing, for content. Yeah, I mean, what, you were we not going to do doing, the tournament? You suge- no, you suggested doing an extra show, which we weren't planning on doing, and then you asked how much you'd get paid for it. For the how people. do you not do the tournament? <laughs> how do we not do the tournament? I'm happy I brought it up because I believe you, Rico. Yeah, truthfully. I don't believe you with Pizza Fest, but I believe you Fair here. Enough. Same. Yeah. Got it. I, I actually think you're, you're a stand-up guy. You wouldn't charge a little podcast. How much is funny? Just seeing that. Definitely. Yeah. It's a bad visual. But it's <laughs> middle of an NFL Sunday, which I was blogging as well. So There we go. There, go. there we go. Bosco's a blog machine. It's right before the, the 255. is right before the witching hour. Like Healthy debates. That's how it works. Uh, okay, so you do you like my Washington future or no? I do. I just worry that the Pac-12 is, yeah. at minimum, the, the best team might win with a loss, two losses potentially. But I think all those teams are really good. That's where it's like a two loss SEC team. They'd still be like, well, they ran through the SEC. The Pac 12 is the cream of the crop this year. So give the Pac 12 its credit. I, I think they will get the credit this year. I hope they do. Me too. Yeah. Yeah. Dave, what other futures do you have? Just Sam Hartman? Yeah, dead. I don't know if I'll play some more this weekend, but that's really all I had, and that's dead. Yeah. I mean, that, it was, it was right there. It was right there. Uh, I don't, you know what? Even if they won, maybe it's slightly alive, but it's not like he had a blockbuster game. He would have had another shot against head to head with, with Caleb US, Williams. Yeah, with USC. Yeah. 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 So, um, and I mean, he may put up big numbers against that because USC's defense ain't that good. But I don't know. Maybe there's, maybe there's 1% he can bring it back. Yeah. I mean, they beat USC, they run the table. Who knows? Um, also, uh, Miami is back and Danny Boy Kane is back. David, I've been sharing those. Those he's clips. on one. He's on one. He, he did you see he crunched the numbers and he's also not going to be able to go to the Louisville game. I did game. see that. Um, yep. So the numbers have been crunched with deep regret and sorrow. I wish, I wish we could just pay for him to go to these games, but then that would people then would be like that's an NIL, NIL. deal. So we yeah, can't, yeah, yeah. we cannot do that. What was it like when you met him at the Final Four? Oh, it's the best. It was the best. We got. I sat down next to him, and we almost instantly. He just started breaking down the game. It was during the other game, so it was during the San Diego State game, and he was like, "This is what we got to do. Our, pre- our you know, our backcourt's got to get pressure and all this stuff." He's 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 the tr- real deal through and through. And that was one of the few games I I I didn't win. I don't know eight and seven. I didn't bet all my games. I, Miami. I needed that. That was a good win for me. Yeah, the Clemson game hurt me a lot. Rico was right. Which, Rico, uh, yeah. I mean, they should have won. fucking with me with that game. I, I was in the middle of the pizza fest. What, Clemson missed a field goal to win it? They missed an easy field goal to win it, and then they had, uh, in overtime, Florida State scored, and Clemson. I don't think it was that easy. The field goal he missed? I thought it was long. Oh, I don't think was so. Was it like a 25, 30-yarder? He, he, told? he missed oh, two. He Makeable. missed two. The one at the end was, was. Was it? I believe so. Oh, I thought it was a short field goal. And the over, I, I the, the overtime was the was the the 
fucking play calling with Dabo? So what what he said, what he said after it was RPO. So Dave, they got a the overtime. Florida State scored right away. Miami ran the ball. They were running the ball well. They ran the ball uh, nine yards. So it was. Or maybe it was first. Clemson, he comes in first down. They, they they didn't get anything. Second down, they ran the ball nine yards. So it was third and one, and they did an RPO third and one. And it, it was like he he had the wrong read, pass play, and then they weren't able to get a first down. It was it was very bad, and that was one of those games that I needed very badly because I had the over as well. So I was like, oh, I could go two and zero, oh, and then it quickly turned into an zero oh and two. Let me see where twenty nine yard field goal. Twenty nine yard field goal. Good good call, Hank. That that's a tough one, Rico. Also, uh huh. To well, who's the wind horse? Interesting. What just happened? Interesting. Twenty nine yard field goal. Mm-hmm. Rico, you made it sound like that was a much more difficult field goal. You didn't say it was a chip shot. I said makeable. Yeah, twenty nine is yeah. Twenty nine is a chip shot. Okay. Wait a minute. Makeable in I still, 29. I can't kick field goals, total. so I give guys. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. 29 and makeable are very different things. Any, 45 to 48 is makeable. Anything under 30 yards is a chip shot. That's like an extra point That's almost. Verbiage. So okay. what I'm saying is interesting. Because I can't kick field goals. What does that have? What? <laughs> Like, I'm not going to judge a kicker of saying that's like a chip shot or well, easy. Here's, here's I can't what kick I find goals. interesting to the members of the judge and jury. Florida State Clemson, overtime, close game. Biggest game, arguably, of the day. One of them, besides the late pizza fest going on at the same time. Oh, no. Rico says he can't go to pizza fest because he's watching college football. Yeah, I just, what did I say to you about overtime? Makeable. What did I say to you about overtime? Makeable. You calling. when when I said I heard that was a chip oh shot. My God. Dan was like kind of on the side. Hank saying it's long. Clearly didn't watch it. You seem to have no idea where the field where, where that field goal is from. Did I memorize the yardage? No. Did I know it was makeable? Yes. N- no. No. Yes. If you watch college did football watch. and someone misses a twenty nine yard field goal, that's choke. You say that. I can't make field goals. I'm not going to judge the guy. What? I know about the play calling. He buried themselves in play calling in overtime. Absolutely. M- makeable. The scoop and score. Watch the whole game. Makeable. I can't kick field goals. That I don't know what that logic means. So you can't comment on any sports, really. You can't throw 97. You can't throw a pat. You can't. Like, I what do you mean you pass. can't kick field goals? I th- Kicking's hard. 29's a chip shot. That an absolute chip shot. Anybody who's watching an ounce is. of football. Yeah, I'd probably put it in a chip shot. Ch- right. 29 is a field goal, and I know college kickers suck, but 29, when you're lining up for a 29-yard field goal, that should be made 99 out of 100 He times. was like an accountant, it, it, though. They pulled him off the street. Yeah, off the street. Would you say an extra point is makeable? No. An extra point is no excuses. What is the difference between they put the what at the eight? It's an eighteen versus twenty nine. Am I right about that? I'm not even quite sure. Two, I think. I think it's at seventeen, so it's a nineteen yarder. I believe nineteen yarder. Point. I think it's on the two. Yeah, ten full so yards. Ten game's full. not on the line like that. What? That's a chip shot. Ten yards behind an extra point. Still a lot ten of- yards behind an extra point. It's like seven yards in front or six yards in front of an extra point in. NFL. I just find it very interesting that game on the line. There's a lot of factors as well there. I yeah, he could have made hundred percent. I find it interesting. There seemed to be mass confusion on where that field goal was from. I openly said I didn't see it because I was at Pizza Fest, but I heard people being like it was a chip shot. They blew it. You makeable. I'm thinking forty to forty seven. No, I wouldn't say forty to forty. I think forty to forty seven in college is deep. I consider that like a bomb. He made a 30-yard field goal in the first quarter. Motherfucker. Yep. Unreal. That 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 hurt me bad. Interesting. Interesting for someone watching the game. Okay. That's like I know you pay for your sins. Remember that time you tried to say you'd watch you watch like a Tennessee game and you just didn't? What are we one TV right now though? I got dra- yeah, I split it though. Well, I got dragged to uh the San Gennaro feast that day. That was a tough one. Tennessee. Right, but 
Right. That was the same and, as Oklahoma. But you went pretty Tulsa, deep down a road of lying. Okay. I'll let it go. I'll let it go. I just so you're I find not it interesting. You're clearly not. Well, well, I, it just it it screamed to me on this confusion that you didn't have a definitive answer for somebody who's locked into these games where that field goal miss was from. I didn't memorize the exact yardage. No. Interesting. All right, why don't you do... That's my bad, Rico. I fucked you there. Nah, it's all right. Why don't you do... I was fucked in the first couple of minutes, but... No, come on. I thought we took a timeout. I thought we were back. Just like they like it. Speaking of things (laughs) I like, cars.com is a leading digital marketplace that connects car shoppers with their perfect car, celebrating 25 years of helping shoppers research, find... Find inventory, finance, and sell cars wherever life takes you next. And whoever you're looking to be, there's a car for that on cars.com. Up to 50,000 cars are added daily to cars.com. Shop over 2 million cars for 2 million possibilities. Find your next possibility on cars.com. Where to next? All right, so Rico, since we're we're back, we're feeling back right now, uh, do tell me, uh, Healthy Debate's doing well. Uh, it's a good show. How, how are we feeling three weeks in? Yeah, good. You just got to keep building. Yeah. Callers have been great. Energy. We're planning. Social's been great. Guys behind the glass. It, it's good. Yeah. You feel like you have something. For right now, yeah. That's Still great. Well. Yeah. That's great. That's I, I, I've, I've tuned in, and it's been great. Yeah. I don't like the narrative of you come out, you're doing a dance like, like any of my attitude has changed. I never said your attitude's changed. Some would say that if I did think I was a big star, I would just blow off pizza fest and not blog i chose to do one of the two or charge people for podcasts exactly right which i did we did not what do you think about john rich's blog uh yeah i mean there was a lot of beef wait you have beef with john rich no 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 there was th- times studio times like, oh t- oh tim yeah tim yeah. hitchens came in had i didn't ask him. for that was last week He's i didn't ask the producer of barstool Sports, i got told tim from hitchens. up top bump from two shows to four Yeah. Dave's I, out on me too now. This no, is what, what you did. This I, he's not out on you. What the not fuck? Out on you. All right. Why why are you doing that? He's not out on you. Do we need another timeout? No, I don't need timeouts. Okay. I'm yeah. not out on you. He's not out on I, you. I I I I mean Dan Dan threw you under the bus. <laughs> I wasn't. I did thinking not. I said I was if you didn't bring up Pizza Fest, <laughs> I, I, I would never have gone in on it. I ne I never brought up anyone else but myself i will let me pull up is dante let me write what dante wrote i i brought up myself anyone else in here hank also was sad he wasn't at pizza fest it hurt me talking with gas need, need you to rattle everybody's cages and say that you took notes on who was there and who wasn't there today can't believe bosco didn't show so that's that's not even what? Me. dante what is is the Don not a rider, Rico? I don't know. Let's sort it out. Let's sort it out. Let's get let's get this sorted out. I always thought the Don was a rider. A rider adjacent. Yeah. At least at least publicly. So maybe he'll, yeah, was that an ignore? Halfway through on a conference call meeting, call you as soon as I'm off. Okay, so he'll call back and we'll get it sorted out. Got it, pal. <laughs> oh yes <laughs> he's back he's back okay let's talk games let's talk games uh we got all right so so what are you doing this weekend then can i come to nebraska <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no, oh, no this by the way this is not my i had it on my now. list uh you know there's night games now you can have max sh- monday night you went to the polo bar can you make that reservation four now instead of two like, where is the line? You see what I'm saying here? Where <laughs> no, I'm now working. Like, hey, the guy doesn't work. He's a piece of shit. I'm having a good routine. Work, work, work. Fine. All right, I'll see you in Nebraska. Book the flight. That 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 nightmare that you had of, uh, you know, he, oh, he travels the world. He calls all this money. That's basically what you want. Like, what do you want? I'll see you in Nebraska. What time's the flight? <laughs> Put me on the show. No. So blog, right? Yeah. Got it. So like, what? Where is the problem? That was from the well, get go. Yeah, you do this thing where it's like, yeah, just, just. I guess I would do it this way. We travel all the time for a college football show. Uh, the Pizza Fest 
that's it's happened once in the history of the company. Okay. Where? Where did it happen? Yeah. Brooklyn. Where where are you going with that? I'm just saying. I think, <laughs> <laughs> that was crazy. I, I, I was almost more confused. Like, we were because winning. Hank. He was on the defense. Hank, Hank, uh, Hank just absolutely rolled, just drove a truck over your face. Well, I'm just I'm trying to help you out like that. It was half an hour from his house. That, that's where. That was. Yes. That was then, it would have been three or four hours away of working. What? Why? If it's half an hour, you go for an hour. You back in half an hour, that's two. Okay. One half of football. You somehow still didn't see the ex- the, the the missed field goal in Clemson, Florida State. Chip shot. Why are you mad at me? This is the show. It's all right. I'm I'm excited. Polo ball. Fucking. <laughs> I got a no show carpenter job. I'm fucking amped. You think I'm booking blogging this this week? Shove it up your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Your ass. Your big Chicago ass. Oh, no, Rico. Oh. You want me to be a big star, get a big head? Watch. Oh, yes. What, what kind of threat is that? <laughs> You're threatening that? I, I said like three headed monster Miami, Chicago, New York. Fine. I'm moving into the office. Move your shit out. <laughs> <laughs> your shit will be where my desk is. It's Bosco. Why, why are you? Well, I don't. Why, why are you mad at me, Rico? I haven't. I'm done literally anything. not. But now this is. He's your your head guy. He asked for this. This is what he gets. You have to pay the sins. <laughs> I pay for sins. You this pay for sins. This actually is now. We're we, all equal. We are actually move this shit out of the office. This is actually the first time I feel like we're in old school pick 'em right now because I started this and he's mad at Dave. Not I'm not me. mad at Dave. Yeah, <laughs> I, it's it's. I don't perfect. even. I haven't done dick. I don't. You're threatening to move stuff out of my office. I don't. Well, no, that's not a threat. That's a yeah, fact. That's happening. Yeah, that's happening. Okay. You're you're yes. you're gone, pal. It's Bosco. Let's hours. get to games. All right, let's, let's, get let's to do games. some games. Let's get some games. Who wanted to get to the games? You got distraction, Dan, over here. Oh no. Fine. He's right. Distraction. Well, I mean. Well, I I hey, am. Look. I don't want to continue because I can't do this all day. But like, what were what Hank? What was your point when you're like, <laughs> where was the pizza fest? Well, I was trying to the the book the flights like that's a bad argument to make when the the pizza fest. Yeah, all right. Was, so you were you were going I was against trying the to, family. I was trying there. to help him. I was trying to. I, I didn't want to fight on the side of like let's you know book you to Nebraska. That's not helping him. I was trying to get him off of it. But but Bosco, you 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 think that people want to tune in just to hear us talk about the games and be bad at gambling? No, absolutely not. Right. I, I know so that what that's it, part of the show. This is but the I begin- also don't think the beginning it's when, of every show is this. Yeah, when you're on the path to recovery, right? You guys be- tie me down and go like this. What, what, shoot it up. I haven't shoot up done the anything. What do we shoot me up with the anger? Anything. You want me back on the drugs? I know you're. Li- I know you lied to me, but that's, I did that is five blogs on Saturday. <laughs> what does that have to do? With you could have still done five blogs and showed face for half an hour. That's just a fact. You weren't watching. You the said yourself you didn't game. miss me. Well, did you, you watch that didn't field miss goal? me? Did you yes, watch that? You field didn't goal? miss me. You watched that so field goal. So what's the difference if you didn't miss me? Did you watch yes. the field goal? I can't kick field goals. I'm not going to judge a guy for a 29 <laughs> yarder. I put it as makeable. I don't put it as chip shot. Extra point, chip shot. No one's mad at you here. I, I Listen, this show is pretty simple formula. We recap what happened the last week, and wherever that may go, it goes, and then we do the games. Yeah. People like Bosco fired up. They li- Yeah, they like it. I get it. So, How was Polo Bar? Can we get a review on that? What is Polo Bar? Exclusive. Hard to get into. Where? New York City. How was it, Dave? Yeah. Uh, it was good. Rico's right. I think it's arguably like the hardest reservation in Manhattan. So, and, and we got right in. So that was kind of a, a suck my dick moment. Like we called in, they made room, which was super nice of them. It, so I think it's more about the atmosphere. That's good to know. What? That you can drop yeah, his name? <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's, a I, it's a very I old That's school. That's a funny joke. I, I wasn't even sure whether we were supposed to be wearing sport coats you know who came up to me and said hello? This will give you an idea. It was like, give us Fish, a hand. Give us a hand. Let us guess. Let's guess. Like musician, Denzel athlete. Washington. Yeah. You got, no, give us well, a hand. I, category. I just, Tom Hanks. You got to give a category. Category. Tom Hanks. But I said. No, but we didn't hear it. We didn't hear it. We didn't hear it. Who'd you say? We didn't hear it. 
Give us a category. category. Athlete, music, what do you got? Pop culture. Name that tune. ASL. Sports. Oh. Current, Gymna- current Gymnans. or former? Neither. Huh? Dead? Jim, it's an announcer. Brooks Robinson. Owner. Oh. Uh, he wouldn't come up to you because he hates No, James Dolan wouldn't. Uh, what about the guy who owns the Nets? James Harris. Nope. Cohen, no. The Russian guy from the Nets. No. Nope. The, Prokhorov hasn't owned it in like 15 years. Uh, one of the Cashmans? Oh. Steinbrenner? Is, oh, no. Dead. No, the, I know that. I know he's dead. He's looking up at us. How? How? <laughs> he, uh... Fucking chased after Dave Winfield. Wait, he no, no, I said illegally how? contributed to I said fucking how Steinbrenner <laughs> political campaign campaigns. I said how Steinbrenner. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, Josh Harris. Nope. Michael Rubin. Football. Football. Oh, the Maris. Nope. But close. Oh. Oh. Uh. Fuck. Wellington Mara. Oh, and, uh, Woody Johnson. No. Co-owner of the Giants, Tish. Tish. Oh, okay. I the Maras, I see I see one of the Maras all the time in Saratoga. Super nice guy. He sits like he he's my dream. Him and Parcells are like I see them like, oh, that's what I do. They just go alone to Saratoga and just bet by them. That's like what I want to do. But yeah. Uh, I've never met the Tish guy, but he came up and introduced he's nice guy. But that's the type of vibes. It's uh very like sport coat old oak they have like uh a corn corn hash sandwich was great they have pigs in a blanket but i think the corn hash sandwich is what they're actually known for there but i thought the food good didn't blow me away i think it's more like vibes so do you think we can get a plus one for bosco next time yeah vibes vibes for four is a lot better than vibes for two or six maybe if you come back oh yeah i'll come Yeah, yeah why not yeah Listen, I'm I'm not joking. Rico's right. It's a place I've always wanted to try. Food God, who I like, he's, he says the best restaurant in Manhattan. So I've wanted to go for a while. It was good to experience it. Yeah. All yeah. right. So maybe we'll get you in. Yeah. We'll all go together. We could go to the bathroom. You could splash water on my pants and then make fun of me as I walk through the restaurant. Do your old, <laughs> all your old tricks. I, I've done that to you before. No, it's a new one. I know what you got up your <laughs> sleeve, though. <laughs> you're just like the, in an '80s movie. You're just like the big bully. It's, it's all right. I listen. I. I don't regret saying that I felt bad I didn't go to Pizza Fest. Got it. Whatever happened after that, I will say the only I don't want to keep harping on it. He's going to be like, I had to work even though I missed the field goal. (laughs) It is like the most Rico event ever. Like the guy from Danino's came up. Mike Burke. I've had family parties there. Great guy. Oh, so you know him? Yeah, I know him. You would have loved it then. Can I finish the story? <laughs> I want to make sure I, I shout out my people. That guy. It, I don't. It's not your people. You didn't go. Okay. Guy comes up, puts his hand behind my neck, like tight. He's like, "Let me tell you this. I did. I did this event like long before you." He's talking about a pizza showdown. Ooh. And he's like, the people from across the bridge came with their pizza we had our pizza we kicked our ass i said keep your pizza over the other end of the bridge like old school staten island brooklyn vibes it was great for somebody who prides themselves on that rico kind of nuts but let's carry on to show yeah because i didn't think anything of it dan 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 really did you dirt i i again i just brought up the fact that i wanted to go very badly and I felt bad that I wasn't there. As did I. Right. No, you didn't. Okay. That's why I... <laughs> We're just going to the circle. Okay, let's do games. Let's do okay, games. let's do games. All right, we got a good slate this week. Uh, by the way, Rico... Uh, it's an hour. We're an hour in. Dave's at 55.8% killing it. Rico, 44.8%. i am in the bottom, 43.9%. I think I had my first winning week since, like, week two or... or I, it's been bad for your boy. It's been bad. I've been struggling. I've been trying to fight, scratch and claw with every pick, uh, but it has not been good. Let's do the games. Uh, we will start. Fr- I have six games that I listed. Is that okay for everyone? That's fine, yeah. All right, so six games. I had uh, to start. We have Utah going to Oregon State Friday night. This is going to be a great game. 
Very, very excited for it. Uh, right now, Oregon State is minus three, over under is 44 and a half. Rico, what are your thoughts? Oregon State on the bounce back. Oregon State on the bounce yeah, back. Yeah, I don't know when Cam Rising's coming back for Utah. If he plays, he's obviously going to be stronger. You think he's back, Ebo? I like Oregon State regardless. I, uh, I, fl- like, what? I, f- I, succ- the whole rooms. It's so, so good. What happened? You follow like stats and stuff. Do you know and injuries? Like, is he back? Is he the guy was a crazy question? I didn't ask you what your favorite well, color was. Kyle Whittingham is doing weird shit with Cam Rising. He's supposed to be I back. think it's a crazy question to assume I'm a stats guy and then assume I know that Cam Rising is in or out. I don't think those things are correlated. Also, Rico, Kyle, I don't think that's a crazy question. Also, I think Kyle Whittingham is like fucking with everyone. Like the, we've seen it every single yeah. week where it's like Cam Rising might play, Cam Rising might dress. Decoy time. Yeah, right. So you have Oregon State. Uh, I like Oregon State in the bounce back. Utah, by the way, was phenomenal defensively. Kyle Whittingham said it was his best, the best performance he's ever seen from his team, which is saying something because he's had a lot of really good teams against UCLA. They completely suffocated Couldn't them. Couldn't do anything. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Oregon State in the bounce back as well. Dave, what do you what do you think in this game? Yeah, I was gonna take Oregon State. You guys both taking them gives me a little bit of pause, but. I do think that is a conference. I don't know why I always think like the Pac-12 home field matters maybe more than like anywhere else. Um, I like them. I, I like them at home. I'll take Oregon State. Yeah, part of me, I I don't know. I just don't know how Utah is going to score. They haven't been able to score much, and their defense is phenomenal. Fuck, this game actually has me twisted now because now part of me thinks like, hey, this is a field goal game. I successfully flipped on Oregon State Wazoo uh, last week, which was nice. It's always nice to win your flips. Yeah, those are huge. Yeah, so I, I – and that one was like almost a laugher. Like Wazoo had control of that game the Cam entire Ward time. Cam Ward is playing – was playing He's Adam's so good. Bird. He is so good. He's so, so good. Uh, Imagine having him at 250 to 1 to win the Heisman. You do? Somebody in the room does. Who? Ebo? 250. Nice. Down at 33 to 1. They got to win out to do it, which is where it's hairy, but it's a good, nice little ticket. You know what? I'm going to go Utah plus three. I just flipped on myself. Maybe Utah a good plus switch. three. Yeah, Utah plus three. I just think this is going to be a tight game. <laughs> Utah's defense is so fucking nasty. Uh, all right. Saturday, good games. USC at Colorado. Colorado, or sorry, uh, Colorado's plus 21 over under 73 and a half. How does Dion's team bounce back? How do they respond? 10 a.m. kickoff local time, which I think plays in favor to Colorado here because uh, USC, it's 9 a.m. local time. Harder to get up. Colorado, you know, the fans, I think, will still be out there pretty loud. Uh, Dave, what do you think? I'm going to stick with Colorado. Uh, They got blitzed. It can happen. I think they get back and, and and can score some points against this USA D, US, USC defense. Is Hunter playing? I saw that story where he he texted Dion or something. He's like, I have to play. Yeah, and Dion said no, no. Um, whatever. I'm gonna take the points. I'm never gonna go against Dion, so I'll take I'll take the Colorado. Rico over. I like the over. Whereas I thought Oregon's defense was legit, and I everybody was like, How the fuck do you take that under? I nailed it. With this one, I don't believe in USC's defense. 28 points to Arizona State. Colorado's got to be desperate here to do something to get that offense back going uh, over. Yeah, I'm I'm with you on the over here. It is a very big number. This is one of those yeah, games. You get five minutes of no scoring. You start panicking, yeah. which sucks, and 10 a.m. sucks, but I have to take the over. You need you need points fast. You need, you need them very, very fast for this game, like instantly, because it can be dead in a second. I'll take the over 73 and a half. I also And can't. you cannot have a single field goal in this no. game. I think I'm going to take the USC team total over 48 and a half as well. By the way, I would have gone 0-3 on that uh, math game. I just tried to f- I, I didn't know. say take no, all I three. Whoa, I just whoa, tried whoa. to figure out gun, the math. Put your gun down. I, it put is your down. gun down. That's a very casual way of saying it. Nah, I, put your gun down. I wasn't playing. It was you, a little aggressive. You didn't do anything wrong. I was that. My reasoning was horrendous in that game, and I. I actually, I myself. think, talked you out of it. Yeah, you did, and I was. I would have. I'm like, you're turning this into a max play. <laughs> yes, yes, and it would have been a disaster for me, an absolute disaster. I see it at 48. So 48 for USC team total. Over as well. Uh, okay, next game. Dave, your game. Michigan, Nebraska, 
Michigan is 17-point favorites right now. Over-under is 39-and-a-half. We will be in Lincoln. I've never been to Lincoln. I think this is... Very excited. It's Maryland and Lincoln are the only two Big Ten campuses I've never been to, so I'm very excited to get this one uh, knocked off You ain't off missing anything in Maryland. Basketball you were for a No, period, you weren't. For a period of time when they were in the ACC, I went to the last... No, 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 no. Maryland, Maryland, no good. Maryland, not yet. No, if you're in a basketball game, they're a good team. But the campus I'm talking about, you're not missing much on Maryland campus. Fair. We're going to be, um, yeah, we'll be in Lincoln. Uh, I have high hopes for Lincoln. High hopes. <coughs> Me too. Because it feels like great a football fan base. Town. They, they, don't, they, they, great fan base. Uh, Wait, your, I think your seven- shirts, Dave, the make, make Nebraska mediocre again. People are actually buying them. Yeah. I mean, it is. It's sad, but it's true. Like Nebraska would love to be mediocre right they, now. They they've been so beaten down. They're, they're like Compton is the exception who's still holding on to like some glimmer. The, the Nebraska fans are very funny and very aware. That, like oh, I'd kill for mediocre. Like we're that <laughs> bad. Um, I, I'll take Michigan, but I don't like the game. I'm taking this as kind of an alumni play. I don't. I I think it could definitely be within 17. I think Michigan's definitely going to win, but I could see Nebraska kind of sticking around. Yeah, yeah. I it it, it really feels like because I mean even Michigan against uh, Rutgers. I had Rutgers. It was a push, but it was all Rutgers just scoring that first touchdown. They never scored again. Yeah. yeah. I, the, and the thing about Michigan, which is hard to tell. Their schedule has not been good, and I think they've been probably pretty fucking vanilla. Mm-hmm. So I, I, you know, you don't know when they maybe start opening things up a little bit because they're not scoring a ton of points. No, they aren't. I don't think they've covered yet either. No, I don't think they have. Yeah, uh, Rico, thoughts? I'm just gonna take Nebraska. Desperate team. I don't love the play. I hate the play. I don't think they're very good. But I think, like Dave said, dying to be mediocre. They're gonna give their best effort at home. Stay within the number. 17 or 17 and a half? 17 right now. Okay. I'm going to take the over 39 and a half. I, the reasoning here is that I think Michigan will be in the mid to high 20s, and I think Nebraska is going to be able to score at least a touchdown and maybe a field goal, so that would get you right around there. Probably need a little more out of, out of uh, Nebraska, but Michigan feels like you know they might have a turnover short field. Michigan in the high 20s, low 30s. All you need is a little bit from Nebraska with a number this low. Yeah, we know Nebraska wants to run the ball too. So their their, their quarterback they brought in has been doing a good job. I know they haven't played anyone, but uh, he hasn't been turning it over like Sims was the first two games. So at least they got that going for him. Uh, but yeah, come out see the college football show. The Boston boys will be there. Will's going to be Boston on the ball. show. Yeah, Boston Bowl. It's going to be great. Uh, and so- Taylor, they're both on the show. Oh, they're both gonna. Oh, yeah, right. They're both coming on. The, oh, I'm gonna. Yeah, yeah. I just think because we all we do is talk about Nebraska, I forget yeah. that there's two parts of this bus and bowl because Will has kind of he's taken, overtaken. He's yeah. over, well, it's also well, in, yeah, it, in defense of Taylor. What, he's what, like, what this is, is not, Taylor? Yeah, right. we killed Rutgers. Like, I mean, there's nothing really for Michigan. Michigan hasn't had much to talk about this season except the hardball like suspension where Will is on you know the excuse spin train every second of every day right and Taylor has bigger games ahead will this is the game this is this is the season right now uh okay next game Kansas at Texas should be a good game this is I believe a is next week Texas Oklahoma should be so this is a look ahead um, a little bit of a look ahead uh Kansas at Texas Kansas is 16 and a half point dogs over under 63 and a half Hmm. Is this the game Kansas? What? What? Yeah, they've I bet given a Texas lot problems. on this game. Quarterback got hurt last year for Kansas, right? He's back. He's been looking good. Uh, what's his name? Jalen Daniels. Yes. 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 He's been looking good. Well, they, I think you might be thinking of the Kansas game against uh, TCU was minus seven. I, maybe. Yeah. That yeah. Kid yeah. Got yeah. Hurt you're right. And yeah. yeah you're right. Won. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. Rico, uh, it thoughts. ended up being a push. I'm conflicted because I like Texas's defense. I don't love Kansas's defense. Over. Okay. I think with pace of play, I think Texas can put it on them. Um, over. 63 and a half. Shit. Yeah, over. 
Don't love it. I'm going to take Texas minus 16 and a half. I know it's a look ahead. I just think that it's going to be tough for Kansas to move the ball against Texas. And this Texas team, like, yeah, they had a little bit of a letdown against, I believe it was Wyoming uh, in the first half after the Alabama game. They put it on Baylor last week. I think they're starting to round into form, and they're 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 thinking like every game, you know, we can't overlook anyone because we have sights on the college football playoff. Dave, don't love agreeing on the over here, but I am taking the over. I do think Kansas will be able to move the ball because the quarterback's so mobile and just can create. So I'm going to take the over and Kansas. Okay. Um, next game, LSU Ole Miss. LSU Ole Miss. Ole Miss, they went, they did it again. Lane Kiffin talking all that junk. Goes into Bama, doesn't win. Uh, Brandon was right. We got to give him credit for that. Brandon was right. And also Alabama is, like, if you look at their schedule, they will yeah, it'll be most time. likely win the SEC West. They have LSU and Tennessee at home. Uh, so And they have a buy-in between the two. So those are their two last tough games. Uh, I'm going to take LSU minus two and a half here. Same. I, I think they're just the better all-around team, and uh, I I feel like there was a lot of energy spent on that Alabama game for Ole Miss. The lead up, the way they lost, I think it's going to be tough to get off the mat. Dave. Agree all the way around. I think LSU is second-best team in the SEC, and like I think they go into Alabama, beat Alabama. Uh, and I do think everything you said, I think that coming off, it's tough for a bound after that loss. I just think LSU is better than Ole Miss. The Mincy Bowl, I'll take LSU. Yeah, the Mincy Bowl. All right, last game, and then we'll get to our cards. Notre Dame Duke. Crazy. Ranked matchup. Game it, day at it Duke. It is game day. Crazy. It's, a, it's the uh, night game that everyone will be watching. Notre Dame trying to get off the mat, minus five and a half. Over under is 51 and a half. I'll start. I'm taking Notre Dame. I think that. If you were Duke on Saturday night, you're hoping, like praying, that they stop Ohio State on that goal line. Now you get a Notre Dame team that is pissed off and they have no margin for error. And Duke has been great, but I don't think Duke, this is a different beast than Notre Dame. Irish. Yeah. I agree with the same thing. Yeah, it makes sense. I mean, off the. Also, I mean, Duke, yes. they Did they put it on Clemson? Do we think Clemson is like elite? No. Do we think Ohio State is elite? Oh, we're in that conversation. I do. Notre Dame went toe to toe. I'm going to take Notre Dame here, even on the road. Okay. Dave. Although, though, I will give a stat. Oh no, I'm sorry. That's top ten. Never mind. Both oh. these teams are in top ten. When Notre Dame goes on the road against uh, top in top ten matchups, they're horrific. Straight up, four okay. and nineteen since '94. But this is not top ten. What other stats are you keeping? For That's us? all I got. That's, That's the only stat one I got this week. I hate this game. I, I still can't stress enough. I don't know how Notre Dame didn't have enough guys on the field for the last two plays. That it's is crazy. Just inexcusable. It's and you know what's crazy too, Dave? It's not even the last the, the two guys the, the ten guys on the field for the last two plays is inexcusable. But it also is completely erasing the fact that Marcus Freeman deciding to throw a pass on second down in that last series that Notre Dame had was also inexcusable because that was a purely a time like you'd have to look at the clock and be like how can we let's let's just say we're not getting a first down how the fuck do we get them the ball with no timeouts in the least amount right. of time and that incomplete pass that almost was an interception i thought was just as like run the ball three times in the middle of the field and then punt the ball and let ohio state try to figure it out with no timeouts yep. uh this game uh I'm gonna take Duke. I don't love it. I think, but I think they can play close. Okay. Okay. Uh, so I have Notre Dame. Rico has Notre Dame. Dave has Duke. Uh, let's go to our cards. Brought to you by Buddy Games. Our friend Josh Dumel. He's got a new show on CBS. Summer isn't over. It's only just beginning at Camp Buddy Games with the kids back in school. It's time for adults to have all the fun. And what with Josh. Dumel as camp counselor it's going to be a blast inspired by a real life tradition amongst Josh and his friends six teams of best buddies reunite and relive the glory days in the ultimate summer camp throwback their friendships will be put to the test as they battle it out in epic competition from giant beer pong to cornhole to the muddy buddy pit the games will push them to their limits and with $200,000 on the line 
Only the bestest of friends will make it to the end. Let the games begin. Buddy Games with Josh Dumel. New series premieres Thursday on CBS and streaming on Paramount+. Plus. Buddy Games new thur- new uh, on Thursdays, 8, 7 Central on CBS, streaming on Paramount+. Plus. We love Josh Dumel. He's come on Pardon My Take a couple times. Great dude. Guy's guy. And uh, this is an awesome show and an awesome thing he does. So check it out, 8, 7 Central on CBS, streaming on Paramount+. Plus. Oh, before we do our cards, uh, did... So next week we'll we'll have the same setup. Then the following week we'll all be in person for Surviving Barstool. Do you guys want to form yep. an alliance? Riders only. The game. It listen. Yeah, I think the, me, I, Dan. I, Dave I know and this. Hank would be there's, a good three. There's people. Dan, you're probably not in this crew. I'm, I like. I really want to win, but there's people who will cut your throat out to win because of the prize. Like, yeah, I'm not. In I that. had to. I I had to tell the dog. He had to get away from me at Pizza Fest. Oh, he was he was to... going so hard on strategy. I'm like, not like now is not the time. But Rico, Jerry, the dog. There's a hundred grand. Shay, Rico, r- 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 yeah, Rico will Rico will kill you for a hundred grand. Not well, yeah, you metaphorically. You said there's a no split policy too, right? There's that. Oh. Is that a rumor? Is that a rumor? No, no split. If I find out there's any split, you're fired and doc just gone. Wow, that defeats uh, that they they don't allow splitting on on Survivor or any game. It, it ruins it. It's, I agree. It's full winner take all. Yes. All right. Regular Survivor, I think of second prize. Oh, Rico's small gonna, amount. Rico's gonna cut my throat small when he gets amount. a chance. Oh, oh, oh man! When this thing gets down to the wire, it's gonna be oh intense. Man. I, Rico, I just want to say it right now. I understand that you're going to cut my throat. I'm not going to take it personally. What? That's a very nice thing for me to say. Is it? I not? don't. I don't get how. I mean, I saw Francis's thing last night. Like when you're competing, how do people not get that it is a game? Right. No, like, I agree with that. Here's the thing. They never get it, Rico. And I'm not saying it, Barcelona. Right. I'm a. I am a survivor. Like I, I've. Gone a little less of a fanatic, but I watch all the time. They don't get it. It's something happens in the game, and you it blends into one. So yeah, you got to be able to disconnect it. I if you people fuck you over, I, on that, I, I, I you're not gonna be able to disconnect it. Well, it's hundred k. You don't think I can change? So okay, but no, in, I think when what? you if you are lucky enough to make it towards the end, and you think you have the word of somebody in in. They stab you in the face for a hundred grand. It doesn't seem like people get, and I'm not just saying you. That seems right. to be a disconnect that people. It happen. You go in being like, no way, I get it. Game, something happens in the game. That seems to be what happens. And what I'm saying is, I understand because Dave's right. Like, obviously, I, I'm going to to win. I I think that the I've said this before. I think I said it on Kirk show. There's two scenarios that uh, I'm okay with. One is if I somehow got voted out in the first two hours, because then I can sleep in all week and sleep in a hotel or win the whole thing. Anything in between, I will Sucks. be upset. Like if I if I make it past the first elimination. Yeah, once you're in it. You're in it. Like that's really it. It's there's a I mean, there's I want to play the game. I love I do Survivor. Too. Yeah, the no. sleep thing is make it is the worst part, but I'm looking forward to the game. The I, game I, is a foot. I want to play the game as well. I'm just saying that there's it's really all or nothing. Like if if you if you lose right away, like you can tell yourself, okay, you know I don't have to sleep well, on the floor. But once you're once you make it past the first elimination, it's like, well, I'm here. Yeah, I better and, win. And it. That is what that is. I think what happens when Rico's like the disconnect. The longer you're in the game, though, just the more intense it gets. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I will. It's for a hundred grand. I like know anything you do is fine. And I'm saying, but then once the lights go off and they say, all right, the show's over, cut. We're saying the same thing it's right different. now. Yeah, yeah we're saying the same thing. Nobody's like, gotten that more than you over the years. <laughs> There's a smile. It's a good one. That was a good smile. We're saying the same the thing. The sleeping's going to be very tough, too, especially without an office. For Dave. Yes. Yeah. That's, that's Bosco's office now. Uh, okay. I'm going to piss in a circle around the corners, too, like a dog. Oh, my fucking territory. I like that. I like that. It's going to be very, very fascinating. So you, are we doing a Rider Alliance or no? Yeah, I think me, Dave, and Hank is three Wait. to start. Oh, wow. He's really mad at me. 
Yeah, I mean, I'm not a rider, so I guess I'm not in. That's crazy. I am a rider. Why are you not in it? He's not a rider. He said. Oh, Did you black out last year? I am a rider. Yeah. I was on drugs. I blacked out. Yes. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't I don't just go back and forth like, oh, Rico tried to kill somebody with a high noon can. Rico's harassing employees' wives. I'm back to being riding three months later. That's not how I work. Okay. Gotta earn it. It could am. be a huge opp- opportunity to earn it. How would you say you're surviving? How would you say you're earning? Earn it. I think you can earn it during surviving, Rico. I think you might have a, time, a, mo- a moment in time. Behavior, going to pizza fest. All right. So I'm not a rider. I'm not in the rider alliance. No, you're in. That doesn't feel real. You're in. That's okay though. But you were saying some things we're not friends or stuff. The no, we're last friends. Week. What was I saying that? Oh, that's tweets. I let there. you. I let you come to my house. I said you could come to my house. Stay over my house. Are you talking about when I said that you? Yeah, tough day too. What? These Wednesdays. I love doing the show, but the recruiting trail. It seems like everybody's out there on Wednesdays. Bam is up there again. Stepping act today. Wait, what? I'm just saying. I don't know what's Tuesdays, going on. Tuesdays, Wednesdays. He's oh, Bama's back. Basketball. They're recruiting that kid. Do you yeah. know, I was thinking about this this morning, and this is sad that I was thinking about this. Do you think there's a chance Nate Oates is using you? No. Because every time he's in New York, you don't seem to get not link every, up with him. No, that's absolutely not true. And over the, over the spring, we he, went. He doesn't respond to texts. No, it feels does. like a one-way street relationship. Just texted with him yesterday. And did he text back? Yes. What did he say? Leave me alone. Well, we got a five star. It's a great get. And what do you say? Roll Tide. What do you say back? Roll Tide. He wrote, he wrote back Roll Tide. That's what we do. Okay. Elephants, baby. I, I just don't want you to get hurt. I feel like I'm not he's losing you. Yeah. God forbid I get hurt. You think you know you're potentially gonna relocate your life, and you got a guy in the first couple of minutes making fun of that you're a big star when you finally get something going. I don't. Know I would what hate to have about. somebody. I never said you're a big star. Do that. All right, let's do... Uh, I would hate to have somebody, hey, I built my career blogging, like, this is how you do it, and then you do it, I'm, and it's... I'm proud of you're you. You're taking attendance at extracurricular activities. <laughs> it's I'm, okay. I'm proud of the, the rehabilitation of Rico Bosco. I've, I said that I've, I bought stock at a very low price, and it's insane right now. It's like Apple I think stock. I maybe would have... I don't want to do it. Let's what? go, go ahead. I would, go ahead. Been, I, I would have been more res- respected you if you like it was fucking pouring out. I didn't want to go. No, I did want to go. A ton of people reached out. Hey, you going to this thing? I'm like, no, the card's loaded. I got to work. Yep. But you didn't watch a field goal. Okay, let's go. <laughs> All right, we go. We we didn't watch anything. <laughs> we go get your picks. Give your picks. All right, I'm going back to the well. Louisville on the road. Winning on the road's hard, but I love this Louisville team. I think they're going to be in the mix in the ACC all the way through. Give me Louisville minus the three. Uh, USF Navy over. Who are they f- playing? They are playing NC State. Friday night. USF Navy over 54 and a half. Despite what people said after week zero, Navy does throw the ball. This game's going to be high Ooh. scoring uh, over 54 and a half. Hear that, Dave? This one is heard strict principle. Indiana plus 14 and a half against Maryland. Ooh. Maryland will Maryland at some point. I could be completely wrong, but they have Ohio State on deck. If does Maryland re, Is Maryland really going to be undefeated going into that game? I think they could potentially lose the game outright, and Indiana stinks. They had to go to overtime with Akron uh, on a crazy two-point conversion fest where they missed the guy wide open late night. Uh, I'm taking Indiana plus the 14 and a half. I think they keep it close. Memphis minus the three and a half. Boise's pass defense is bad. Memphis can sling it around. I like Memphis. And I'm going to take SMU, Charlotte over 53 and a half. We have not seen Memphis, uh, I'm sorry, uh, SMU take the top off this offense yet. I think it's a get right spot. Two close losses to, or uh, two tough losses to Big 12 teams in TCU and Oklahoma. SMU gets going over 53 and a half. Charlotte's really bad. That's a five pack. I got one more. Uh, okay. Two more, actually. All right, I'll do mine real quick. Uh, I am going uh, Cincy minus two at BYU. I know this might be a, a tough game. I think BYU is pretty banged up. They had a bunch of guys who didn't finish the game against Kansas. Uh, since he's a tough team, their offense sucks, but I, I, I think they can win this game. Uh, I have Arkansas plus six at home against Texas A&M. This one is either going to be a genius pick or going to look so fucking stupid. Uh, Syracuse plus seven uh, at home against Clemson. This I really do think this is either Syracuse wins it outright or they lose by like 30, and I'm like, what the fuck was I thinking? But Syracuse defense is very good. 
Uh, Oklahoma minus 20 at home against Iowa State. I have picks Pittsburgh minus two and a half at Virginia Tech. East Carolina plus three and a half at Rice. I think this one's going to be a fucking absolute blowout. UGA, Georgia, minus 14 and a half at Auburn. I think that Auburn cannot move the ball. They cannot move the ball. I've watched them against Cal. I watched them against Texas A&M. I think Georgia can sleepwalk to this one. And they had that little scare against South Carolina, so maybe they're not sleepwalking. Uh, Mizzou and Vandy over. What is that number? Find that for me. I didn't write it down. That's my fault. I have Oregon minus 27.5 at Stanford. Stanford also very, very 54 bad. 54.5. 54.5. Give me that. Uh, I'm not going to actually take tw- Tennessee because I think Milton might be hurt. Huh. That might right. be good. What? That might be good, too. You're right. All right, you know what? Give me Tennessee. My uh, No, I'm going to stay away from it. That's smart, Dan. That's smart. That's You're using your brain. You're not betting every game just to bet every game. That's smart. That was really smart. I'm going to go back to TCU minus 12 and a half. I was on West Virginia. They won outright against Texas Tech. I'm going back to what I said last week. I was right about that. TCU, week one, sticks in everyone's head. TCU is a lot better than people realize. They're not what we saw against Colorado. They put it on, who was it, SMU last week? Yeah, SMU with some mismanagement, <laughs> play calling, and stuff like that, but they did. They, what was they, the final score? 27-11, I feel like. Okay, that's a put it on. Uh, and it was a six-and-a-half point spread. So I was yes. never in doubt. Yeah. Fresno minus 24-and-a-half at, uh, at home against Nevada. Fresno undefeated, best group of five I, team right now. I added them. They won, what, 51-10 to 10 last week. That was Crushed easy. them. 34-17, SMU. 34-17. Yeah. Washington minus 18 at Arizona. I have Boston College minus three at home against Virginia. I have the LSU pick. Uh, SMU minus 23 and a half at home against Charlotte. So it's kind of what Rico was saying. Uh, I want to take Toledo, but they're doing the same thing with Daquan Finn. I don't know if he's going to play or not. So that might be an ad later. Uh, and then I have my lock later okay dave uh i got with you dan syracuse plus seven at home against clemson i think they can win that game and they traditionally play clemson tough in the dome even when they're terrible um colorado plus 21 and a half already gave that against usc i have taken kentucky i feel like five years in a row against florida i don't know why but it flips in this year. I think Florida may be decent and Kentucky not as good as they've been the last couple of years. I'm taking Florida plus. Uh, is it I, one I think plus half. or minus? I have plus, but I thought they were minus. No, Florida's plus one, one and a half. half. Florida's plus one and a half. You're saying? Yeah. Florida plus. Uh, one yeah, and they're half. plus one and a half. So Florida plus one and a half at Kentucky over in Kansas, Texas, sixty three and a half, and Kansas. Um, I have the over in UNLV, Hawaii, 59 and a half. UNLV is not a bad team. I had them as my mortal a little bit ago. Uh, LSU to beat Ole Miss. I like Stanford, plus 27 and a half at home against Oregon. I had Stanford last week at home against Arizona. They almost beat them. Um, South Carolina, plus 20, 12 and a half at Tennessee. Um, I don't think Tennessee is that good. I don't like Joe Milton. I think uh, South Carolina keeps us close. I think it goes to the end. TCU, West Virginia over 52 and a half. Bama minus 14 and a half at Miss State. Miss State's horrible. Uh, Arizona plus 18 and a half. I'm going against Dan there at home against Washington. I think this game's sneaky close. And Fresno minus 24 and a half at home against Nevada. Uh, I forgot a couple. Uh, Eastern Michigan plus eight against Central Michigan. Air Force minus 10 at home against San Diego State. And uh, Louisiana Monroe plus 13 and a half at home against App State. Uh, Locks. I I am bad at locks. Evo is 0-4. Zoopy is 3-0. and Zoopy's fucking killing it. Where'd Zoopy go? Did he have his pick? Oh, there he is right there. <laughs> I thought, well, you switch. That, yeah, Harry had yeah, Harry switched. Yeah, no, Harry was holding that camera. Yeah. I'm not crazy. Uh, okay, well, let's start. Zoopy, you're, you're, you're 3-0. and Why don't you start? Yeah, and I feel bad, Rico, because I decided this yesterday, so I'm not going against you, but I do like Maryland minus 14. Okay. Okay. I think they're a it's, good team. For months on Pick Central, all we get is Maryland fucking Maryland's when they're not supposed to. They uh, they lost to 10 or 
didn't cover against Temple a couple years ago when we thought they were going to start rolling there. Like, Maryland fucks up. So, I hate Indiana, but it's a strict principle play. Okay. Uh, Ebo, trying to get his first lock of the year, lock of the week. Uh, I'm going to go ECU Rice over 46 and a half. Ooh, okay. Uh, Hank. Hank is two and three. I'm going to go shout out. Shout out to Mincy for last week. I'm going to go Notre Dame. Minus five against and a half. Duke. Yeah, I think the bright lights obviously don't scare them. Duke, they're not used to, you know, ever ever playing in this big of a moment. They're going to crumble. Okay. Except the other week. Jack. Uh, Kentucky minus one and a half. Kentucky minus one and a half. Oof. I'll go with mine. I'm going to take Louisville minus three at, at NC State. I'm with you, Rico. I like Louisville a lot. I think I have this power rated as a 10-point spread. Yeah, it would have been and my I, uh, that is that was a, my second I made that play. up. Yeah, I just made up what I said. Uh, Dave. <laughs> A quick ad that I forgot, West Virginia plus 12 and a half against TCU. I think that game is close. I already gave out the over. I don't know why. I, I like South Carolina. That's my mortal. Plus 12 and a half. I think they can win at Tennessee. Okay. Rico? Not available yet, Jack, but you can add first half. But the lock will be Tulane minus 21. Ooh. UAB is really bad. Mike Pratt back. He got a scrimmage last week against Nickel State, whoever the fuck they played. Tulane's very good at home in New Orleans. Uh, Mincy in widespread panic, fucking playing after every score. I think it's a blowout with Tulane. Blowout. Okay, I will – I mean, I have to ride because I am a rider. Will you admit I'm a rider, Rico, yes. even though you hate my guts right now? I didn't say I did. I'm trying to find this Tulane game. What time uh, – oh, what time is that game? I think it's Rico? 11 a.m. Saturday. What time? ESPN 11 2, 12 o'clock. 12 Eastern time. I am a rider, so I will be taking that uh, bet. I think they smash them. Yeah, I think they smash them too. I like that. I like that. Uh, okay. I think that's it. I think that's it. I'm sure I'll have some ads. All right. See you guys. All right. See you, Dave.